Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. We've got a little dose of summer weather this week. It's driven a lot of folks to the beach for relief, and for surf casters especially. There's only one place really to be in Jersey, and that's Island Beach State Park. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Here at Betty and Nick's in Seaside Park on the way into Island Beach State Park, of course, and that's home of New Jersey's two fluke at 16 inch size limit. Nothing wrong with that, right? And a lot of the fluke are now starting to appear in the surf, and when you've got that opportunity to get on those 16 inches, it's great. Back talking to John today, uh, customers really enjoy that aspect of being able to get some of those shorter fluke in the surf at Island Beach. Of course, then we had Mark. Uh, Blascal, this week he checked in with the Betty and Nick's Fishing Club. He reported, quote, lots of shorts, sundials, and a lonely beach, or lonely bluefish. It'd be nice to have a lonely beach, right? It's summer. I did talk to Nick Konicheski this week as well, and he said he's catching quite a few sundials in the beaches, Ocean County into Monmouth County as well. You get a couple of those big ones. There's no size limit on those sundials, but they are tasty if you can get a good one uh, to make the most out of the meat that you do have. We do have a few bass on the beach, the Jersey Shore, and the Delaware Coast as well. Indian River down inside um, of the Delaware Bay, Augustine Beach. Of course, up Ocean, Monmouth County, all the way up to Sandy Hook, although most of those fish are shorties. They're taking uh, mostly clams, a couple of bunker chunks here and there, um, but all the way up along the beach, again, a lot of short fish. Most casters, of course, are turning towards fluke, using the bucktails and the gulp, light jig heads. Some of the fluke that I've been catching in the wash of late seem to be spitting up some of those small sand eels. Um, so go light. Go with a lighter fluoro, go with small jig heads, and do some of those lighter uh, and smaller uh, strip baits or pieces of gulp. In fact, checking in with the folks at Fisherman's Headquarters south of here on Long Beach Island, Ship Bottom, they said lots of fluke in the surf there along the LBI beaches. Said Lee here, as a matter of fact, took them on a fly. So it's a good opportunity to throw some of those light flies in the surf as well because a lot of those fish are right there in the wash. You don't have to worry about those long casts. In fact, I know groins are very hard to come by at the Jersey Shore post Sandy, right? But if you can find some groin rocks or you have a jetty rock that's right alongside of a pocket, some of that clear water that we've got, make sure you have the, the polarized sunglasses. If you focus quite a bit, a lot of times you'll see smaller stripers, ones, twos, and threes coming in patrolling along the rocks and along inside the wash. So make sure you keep your eye out. And again, a lot of those fish are coming in and they're picking up pieces of crab or pieces of clam. So you might want to try to lot to uh, to free line uh, a sand crab, mole crab, sand flea, whatever you'd like to call them, because a lot of the guys down in Delaware find that's very effective for those smaller stripers in the wash. Uh, maybe some of these guys as well. Andy of Riptide had Tommy L check back in the shop in Brigantine. Um, had this cow nose ray in the surf. Finding acres and acres of them. Some of the guys talking about the clarity of the water. Some guys out on the water, in shore grounds, and also in the back bay in Barnegat Bay, seeing some um, some of those cow nose rays coming in by the school loads of them. Sometimes almost like a hundred of them at a time. Of course, it's a good time to get in on a dream boat bluefish right now. We're getting reports from the big Jamaica. They've had them up to 18 pounds on trips they've had in the past week. So if you're looking for a dreamboat fish, you might want to book one of those trips. Get out there jigging. Uh, some of them, are, I guess, are throwing the chunks now, but a lot of jigging on those big bluefish. In fact, 76-year-old Angel Hernandez of Newark, he brought this 13-pound bluefish into the folks at Tackle Box this week. It wasn't done yet. He turned around and pulled another fish out of the cooler. cooler, cooler, cooler I'm sorry, a nine-pound fluke. 13-pound bluefish, 9-pound fluke. Too bad Angel wasn't in the Dreamboat contest. Those are two uh, uh, fish that would have got him some points in there. Said he bo caught both of them on gull in the Reach Channel this week up on the Raritan. So maybe the fluke bite is starting to intensify throughout the state. I did talk to Johnny Luchka from Long Run Charters. He had the guys from Missouri out in the Matasquan River this week. Uh, hit up some good flukes, so that's a good sign. A little farther north, we checked in with Bobby at Fisherman's Den out of Shark River. He weighed in his eighth 50-pound striper of the 2018 season on Father's Day. Jason and his father, Bill, Father's Day, caught the fish of a lifetime uh, off of Asbury Park on a white Maja spoon. Checked in with Tony Maja, actually. He said he's had seven, I believe, seven 50-pound-plus fish on the Maja spoons this season. So 
it's a good sign. Hopefully that big run of big stripers isn't necessarily done yet. We go a little farther south of here, Jarrett Hillman, Taylor Corbett, Gene Helius, and Evan Hoffman. They came into Beach Haven Inlet over the weekend with a 295 pound bluefin. We are getting some good reports on some giants, uh, some good sized bluefin, so now's definitely the time to start planning those offshore trips. We're hearing of some more yellowfin and big eye in the mix as well in our offshore reports. They're in the weekly edition of the Fisherman Mag Magazine, folks, by Tom Pagliaroli. If you're not subscribed and you're not getting those offshore reports. In Great Bay, Absecon, uh, Little Bay, Scott's in Mystic Island, said uh, the bay fluke there suddenly wanted, uh, wanted pink gold. Go figure that. Talking to John, he said, it's always the yellows, the chartreuses, and the whites. Of course, the whites, probably a real good imitation for sand eels, but for whatever it's worth, make sure you have your colors if you're getting out there. And of course, who says there are no doormats in South Jersey? Cape May County, Jim here, he nabbed a 10-pound, 38-incher at Corson's Inlet over the weekend. Check that one in a 24-7 bait and tackle. Now, while most folks are scraping away, scratching away at some of those fluke and a lot of smaller ones, uh, the Flatties in Peck, Ludlam, and the Sedges behind Sea Isle and Avalon, Kathy at Sterling Harbor Bait and Tackle said Joe Smith, a Philly, he got his 6.83 pounder at Delaware's Reef Site 11 over the weekend aboard Scott Wheeler's Big Bone. Now, while you do have those reef sites in Delaware, plenty of fish, uh, plenty of fluke on those reef sites, and perhaps at the old grounds as well, but they're also catching them up the canals and rivers as well. Bryce Peck of Texas had a three pounder uh, on Gulp, and the Broad Kill River checked in with the folks at Lewis Harbor Marina. In addition to those rays that we talked about, it wouldn't be too much of a surprise to find some of those night sharkers starting on these beaches pretty soon. We do hear of some people down in Cape May, uh, the Cape May County beaches that are starting to throw chunks in the night surf, catching some of those big brown sharks that they've got to release. The sandbars and the uh, sand tigers, of course, they've got to be released. But there is some shark action coming in along the local beaches at night. We expect that to start uh, through June and July here along the island beach stretch as well. And of course, the shark tournaments are well underway along the Jersey Shore. In fact, the crew from BNR took over the lead early in the Mako Fever Tournament this week with a 258 pound Mako that they brought in. Thanks to Tom Lynch for that photo. Hey, that tournament kicked off this past Saturday. It will continue through Sunday, a nine day shark tournament. Plenty of competition to go around. I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe those leaders change, but congratulations to the guys from uh, BNR so far for being on the board with that good fish. And of course, congratulations also go out to Dave and Tammy at Avalon Hodgepodge celebrating 20 years in business. Uh, this year, they had a big celebration earlier this week with the mayor and uh, apparently Senator Van Drew was supposed to be there. Congratulations, Dave and Tammy. Keep it going. Listen, folks, it's cooler down here at the shore and it's a lot hotter along the beaches of Island Beach where you get two at 16. If you're looking to do some fluking, now's the time to get out there with the light jigs uh, and the gulps and the strip baits. And again, don't forget those polarized glasses. You never know what you're going to see along the Jersey Shore this summer. Catch them up this weekend. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com.